Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick and in today's video we are talking Shopify nav bars. Specifically, I am looking at this drop down here, this catalog that we can put collections or products in. Um, it's pretty bl pretty plain, pretty vanilla and I really wanted to build something more custom so that we can have a collections drop down and we can add uh, collections with images and the product listings below try to make this a fancier, more visual type of nav bar. So without further ado, let's get into the code. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is navigate to our duplicated theme. And note, I am working on Dawn in this theme. So if you're in a different theme, there may be a few other customizations that you have to make. But the first thing I'm going to do is come over to the side in the theme editor, and I'm going to create a new snippet. And I'm going to call this... You can name it whatever you want, just remember the name. I'm going to call it drop down header images liquid. And then after saving that, uh, we're going to be able to open up this GitHub page that I will copy and paste from. So in the link in the description, you're going to see a few links. One of them is this GitHub code. So if you come here, this shows you the before and after of the files I created and changed. So if we come to this um, snippet here, this bottom one, this is what we just created, and we can copy all of this. And I'm just going to copy and paste it, and then we can talk about it a little bit if you're interested in how the code's working. Otherwise, just skip ahead. But essentially, we, I copied this from the existing uh, snippet that we are using. I copied it and made some tweaks here. So the opening up with our styles, this is just um, some custom styles that we want to make sure that the nav bar goes fully uh, the full width and then obviously styling a little bit of like the images and the uh, links as well and then the liquid html structure actually doesn't change that much from the existing stuff um, kind of just customizing it a little bit and adding some conditionals um, and that's pretty much it there's no javascript there's nothing too crazy going on it's pretty much vanilla um, uh, html and css and then obviously using our uh, liquid here for our links and the menu, which we will do in just a minute, is creating that part of it. So um, we can save this file and then we just have to change one more file. If we go to header.liquid and then what we want to do, if we look back at the code changes, we can see that we're going to add this instead of the header drop down menu. So if I search for header, here it is. So this is the menu that's currently um, being used. You could be using the mega menu, and if that's the case, you just want to change that as well. But that's in the customizer in the header section. You should be able to see those, so which one you're using. So now if I save this, our code portion is ready to go. But we need to go in and we need to configure some settings in the dashboard. So I'm going to go back to this main menu here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some collections and add some images there. So you'll have a list of your collections here. And if you don't have any, whatever, just create some. And then once you click into them, you're going to see this section right here where you can add an image. So you're going to want to add images there because this is the image we're going to use in the dropdown. So once you've saved some collection images here, next we're going to go over to the online store we're going to go to navigation and we're going to create this new menu. So I've created a, a menu called drop down image, but you can name it whatever you want. You're going to click into it here. And this is the important part. You want to make sure it's structured correctly. So the topmost item should be whatever you want to call it. I think the natural name probably be collections. And so if we look here, that's what we have collections and the nested underneath is going to be each of the collections themselves. So if you've never made sub categories or sub, um, yeah, sub categories in the uh, menus before, it's really simple. You just give something uh, a name here and then you add it and then you can simply drag this and you can drag it wherever you want. If you want it to be at that level or you can, you know, nest it under whichever one you want. So just make sure that you have your upmost category name, that's the initial dropdown, and then each of the collections you're going to use, and then each product of the collection that you want on 
the menu as well. So after you have saved this menu, now uh, we just need to go into the theme. I'm gonna go into Customize. We're gonna click into Header. And this is what I was talking about earlier with the drop down versus mega menu versus drawer. So we're using drop down here. And then uh, we just need to change this menu right here. And we're going to choose this drop down image we just created. And you can see it's already uh, taken shape right there. If we save, and now we look at the preview for this. And there you can see we have a fully functioning drop down menu with images and collection products, all of the above. So feel free to customize this as much as you'd like, but I think this is a good starting point for most themes. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Also, I'm going to be launching a private Slack channel for Shopify developers and designers. So if you're interested in that, click in the link in the bio to go to my website, fill out the email template form, and then um, I will be sure to do that to let you know about that and also uh, some courses that are going to be launching for Shopify theme development. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.